sit. Observe what it's like to have hips that want to tilt upward, making you slouch. This isn't about good posture to make your mother proud. It's about knowing that no matter how you've let your body hang in the past, you have the choice to change. To know what it's like to have rib cage rise and stay aligned, for spine to curve its natural curve and support you from your tail up to your mind, to decide you will take the time to notice how you feel. Freer, lighter, ready to peel those shoulders back and off your ears, let them drop, relax, but not roll forward. Core still supported, sit bones pressing gently into the floor, gravity adding her pull, keeping you grounded. Look up while still lengthening the back of your neck. It isn't about how far you go, but how safely you stretch. Your body was not made to be beaten. I once heard the story of a doctor who knew what the body had to offer, but never sat down to honor it. He was invited to a ceremony where each bone was named and a gong was hit. Each organ's purpose lifted up into the space. Each muscle celebrated. Every bodily fluid's benefits stated and respected. And he said this incantation changed his life. If only every human knew the beauty of their own design, perhaps we'd give ourselves, insist on better care. So feel your tailbone lengthening, your neck elongating, the distance between your right shoulder and your left hip. Stretch it, compress it, stretch. Now your left shoulder and your right hip. Get curious about how many inches are between them. Notice your ankles, your feet, your toes. Rise up a tiny bit higher in your pelvis and glow. Glow like your body is a puppy you get to hold as long as you promise not to hurt it. 